you have to realize that this was not simply a game for playing for a tiebreaker. If Ali Reza wins this game, he ties for first place and he, he makes more money because um, because he ties for first place versus finishing in third place or fourth place or wh wh whatever wherever he ended up. If he wins that game, that game that game by their in interference, it distracts him. He he ends up making a blunder, not winning the game, and it costs him money. On top of that, it also costs him rating points potentially, where he would have been in the top ten top ten of the world as well. So it's more than simply about the tiebreaker. It's the fact that they it was a very important game for Ali Reza, and the way that the arbiters interfered is a hundred percent hundred percent wrong. Jordan Van Forest wins Tata Steel Chess Tournament 2021 by Peters Doggers. GM Jordan Van Forest became the first Dutch player in 36 years to win the Tata Steel Chess Tournament. The 21-year-old grandmaster defeated his compatriot GM Anish Giri in a dramatic playoff after both had finished on 8.5 out of 13. Now, before we keep going, um, one thing that I'm going to say, first of all, congrats to Jordan on winning, but none of this would have happened if Anish Giri had taken care of business on Saturday and won in the end game against Ali Reza Farouja. The fact that um, that Anish found a way to bungle that game and turn it into a draw is why all this happened. So I personally hold Anish responsible for all of this. Okay, let's keep going. Um, okay. On, on top of the world was, was Van Forrest's answer to the question of all questions, how he felt after winning the Super Tournament in Vikonze. The oldest brother from a large family of chess players won the Wimbledon of Chess, a tournament of 13 classical rounds over the course of 16 days by remaining undefeated, scoring plus four and winning the Blitz playoff in the Armageddon game. He also broke 2,700 for the first time as he won 30 rating points. Meanwhile, it was a massive disappointment for Geary and his fans. The Dutch number one seemed destined to finally win his first major tournament in which GM Magnus Carlsen participated, but instead he lost a second playoff in Vikonze after the one in 2018 against Carlsen. Um... Chess.com is Jordan Van Forrest, who wins the 83rd Tata Steel Chess Run after Anish Giri lost on time in the Armageddon game. Wait, so... So, wait, well, let, let me... Anish, Anish is winning! Should I pull this up or not? Like, okay, so basically Anish got a winning position, it looks like, but he he, he ran... Thank you to Sub Rosa for the raid with 53-53. Thank you to Sub Rosa, appreciate it. Thank you for the raid. Um, All right, so let's let's keep going with this. This is crazy. So what, what is this clip? Up? Why when a bishop is he in time? I think is he, he is. 60? It's move 58. It's move he 58. lost on time? Oh my gosh, he lost on time on move 58. And oh, he was almost there. Jesus Christ, he lost on time. Oh my gosh. That was a ridiculous time scramble. Did and he lose on time? He lost on time. Yes, he lost on time. Oh, such a drama. Dra so... I, if, if, if I understand this correctly, I'm just going to start from the beginning Anish, one more time. Anish, uh, in move 60, the players get more time. They get two-second increment. Um, White won a bishop. White won a bishop. Is he in time? I think is he, he is. 60? It's move 58. I don't, I don't understand. It looks like Anish was moving too slowly. Like, he should... He, he, he had an extra... He had a rook and a bishop, and it feels like he moved too slowly. Like, I don't understand. I, I don't understand. Like... I, I just I don't understand why he didn't keep moving quickly because you have no way of knowing what the time situation is there, um, so I I don't know. Or is it that Anish resigned? Did he resign there? I don't know. It's very very confusing. Um, I I don't know if he just resigned because he forgot he got more time, or did he flag, or what what's going on? He oh he, he just he just stopped because he realized he had no time left. He resigned on move sixty. Two? Wait, wait, okay, wait a second. One second. He lost some time? Oh my gosh, he lost some time on move 58. And oh, he was almost there. Jesus Christ, he lost some time. Oh my gosh, that was a ridiculous time scramble. Did and he lose some time? He lost some time. Yes, he lost some time. Oh, he such lost. a drama. Drama. Wow. We have the winner of the tournament, and it is Jordan Fanfarest winning the dramatic Armageddon in a lost position. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Anish, Anish is winning. What? Yeah, so I don't, I don't really understand what was going on here exactly, but but anyway, um, it, it goes out without saying. Apparently, it was 58 moves, and Anish lost on time. Um, and move 60 would have gotten increment for every single move. Um, 
But yeah, very, 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 very messy. Again, you guys, this is what I would say. Getting back to the whole whole online versus over the board, none of this would have happened if the game if the game was online. I, I will say that. None of this would have happened. Uh, this whole mess with pieces getting knocked over and so forth. Um, if this if this has been online versus over the board. So that that's the first thing I'll add. Now that's not to say that, you know, somehow that it's it's terrible or something, but again, if you're gonna have a tournament decided by Armageddon where pieces can get knocked over, you get to like move fifty-eight and all kinds of craziness, then um again it, it begs the question what, what something is wrong with the format. Because Anish was obviously winning in this position here at the end. Um so GM Fabiano Caruana, who could still catch the leaders, had little chance for more than a draw against GM Arantari, but that cannot be said about GM Ali Reza Faruja. The Iranian teenager had done was doing rather well against GM Rod, Radoslav, Radoslav Wojtaszek, who and he had good chances to finish on the same number of points as Gary and Van Forest. His Sonneborn Burger SB tiebreak, however, was worse. During the round, it was already clear that a win wouldn't be enough for Rouge to make it to playoff, which, according to the regulations, would only be played by two players. Okay, there's a picture of Ali Reza. Let's keep going. The all-Dutch playoff was scheduled to start at 1810, two tables away from Faruja and Wojtaszek, who were still playing. When these players reached a time control, the arbiters asked them to move to one of the tables farther away so that they would be less bothered by the moves of Geary and Van Forest. Faruja was visibly disturbed, understandably so, and refused to leave the table. While the playoff was underway, he spoiled his promising position, and afterward he was very angry at the arbiters and shouted at the main organizer. The whole affair was a stain on an otherwise wonderfully organized event in pandemic times. All right, so, okay, here we go. This, we get to the fun part pretty soon. Okay, so this is the game between Ali Reza and Radoslav Wojtaszek. I believe it was in this position um, right here. He played rook d2, which was not the best move, and then he immediately blundered with queen f4, allowing e5 here. So uh, let's keep going through the article. Do they... Oh, do they not talk more about it? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa wait, wait a second. Oh, oh wait, wait a second. They don't talk more about it? Wait, what? They They don't talk more about it? This is all they say in the article? Wait, 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 wait a second. That's all they say? Okay, well, um, what is this clip? He's, he's playing about six. Huh? Okay, I think I'll start with this clip. Uh, is this clip I want to start with? One second. Um... I'll start with this clip and then I'll then I'll work backwards to the other clips. Okay, so let's let's start with this clip. This is Ali Reza's brother, by the way. Um, let me just start with this clip. He's, he's playing about six and uh, he's six hour and a half. You don't let him to play in calm situation and these freaking rules and playing beat is really early. I mean, they offered they make draw. I mean, what is this? They made draw. The game is over. Mm. Okay, well, obviously, um, what to say? Uh, yeah, very, um, I mean, very, very, obviously, very, very emotion. His brother's very emotional. You know, I, I understand that, obviously, because, uh, because he was very upset about what happened. But that, that being said, let's, let's go to this Twitter. So we also have this Twitter here. This is a, a GIF. Um, I think there's an actual video as well. So, so what you see the story is Ali Reza is trying to think because he's, he's obviously low on time. Both players are low and, um, and so they get they they're they're low on time and they're they're both trying to think and figure out what's going on. This was before move sixty. Okay. Oh, this was before move sixty when they're already doing this. Okay. Is there? Is it okay? Let me um. Okay. So let me let me go watch the YouTube clip then as well. Um. Yeah. Let's watch this one. The arbiter. Let's watch this one. Okay. Just uh, just telling him that they have to move to board one so that the tie breaks uh, can start uh, in the center of the playing court which is board four uh oh my god <laughs> what's going on well i actually don't know if he has to move that's the thing is does he have to move he has to move yeah he has to move he has to move and there we see anish giri joining the playing court. okay so i think i think that's en that's enough of, that's enough for this but before we keep going there there was a reply by mig somewhere on here where was there was a reply by um uh where is it one second let me uh where 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 is it one second doom 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 sorry i just have to find i just have to find the actual reply by mig um where is it
I'm gonna pull this up one second. Um, where is it? There should there should be there should be um an article or or, or a reply that make move on to the video. Sorry, what? One second. Yeah. Um, yeah, so like you see, like there's this tweet by a, a Gadmator which says, I'd love to see them try doing this on, on Gary, where basically they try to tell someone in the middle of the game to, to move to another board. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty bad. That was his remark as well. After actually, after asking if they'd have done it to Magnus, yeah, so okay, let, let me let me go back, let me let me just go back to this article without getting too deep. So, what here's what happened they had reached move 60, um, they had reached move 60 in the game. And this was the end of the second time control. Both players got 15 more minutes for the rest of the game. And at this point, the Arbors basically decided that they had to hold the tiebreaker between Jordan Van Forest and Anish Geary to decide who was the winner of the event. Now, that in and of itself is completely understandable, having to hold having to hold the tiebreaker. I understand it was in the regulations. They would have to hold the tiebreaker at a certain time. Um, uh, so, so, so basically, they had to hold the tiebreaker at a certain time. That being said, nothing wrong there. To me, however, it's very clear that they did not need to make the players move. They could, they had cameras that were on every single board in the playing hall. Um, so they had players who were playing on seven different boards. They could have put Anish and Jordan in the, on the other end of the uh, on the other end of the ta- of the tables. They could have put it at the very other end where the players are way on the other end of the room. And um, there's no reason they could not have done this. This is the first thing I will say. There's no reason they could not have had the players play on the other end. Secondly, what I would say, however, is that it's very distracting to have to play have to play your game, which you've been playing for six hours, while you have two guys, you know, even if they're still even though they're far away in the same hall, smashing the clocks. They're playing blitz chess, obviously, of course. Um, so that's that's what I would say. Again, I don't have direct context. I wasn't there. I don't know the specific things. Um, but they had the they had the trophy on the table that they played the blitz. I mean, okay, that's just insane. But but yeah, what 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 I would say is that essentially you could put them at the other end. Now that already in and of itself is weird. I believe the precedent for doing that is maybe in in, in Norway chess. Um, uh, it's it's like in, in Norway chess they they have um you play your game that's drawn early you have to play like a blitz game so they were doing that in in Norway chess as well um a little bit so that's maybe the precedent for doing this but what I would say is that to be to be very blunt first of all asking players who've been playing for six hours to move to another table just because you have to hold the game on one specific board is ridiculous that's absolutely ridiculous you're not supposed to you're not supposed to um you're not supposed to you're not supposed to, You're you're not supposed to uh, basically tell people, you know, you're not supposed to disturb them during the game. This this is what I will say. You're not supposed to disturb them during the game. You 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 can't really tell them to move their move their board. Like either you you either you move it to the other end, or or um or you have it there. There's another point as well that I'm going to say, which is the arbiters when they told them to move as well, they told Ali Reza that he could, would not that he could not qualify to play a tiebreaker even if he won his game. Again, this is not something that they, I believe, the arbiters are allowed to tell him. Um, so I, I think there was definitely arbiter interference, and I, I think it's completely wrong. The third thing that I'm going to say as well is that you have to realize you have to realize that this was not simply a game for playing for a tiebreaker. If Ali Reza wins this game, he ties for first place and he he makes more money because um, because he ties for first place versus finishing in third place or fourth place or wh- wh- whatever wherever he ended up. If he wins that game, that game that game by their in- interference, it distracts him. He he ends up making a blunder, not winning the game, and it costs him money. On top of that, it also costs him rating points potentially where he would have been in the top ten top 10 of the world as well. So it's more than simply about the tiebreaker. It's the fact that they, it was a very important game for Ali Reza and the way that the arbiters interfered is a hundred percent, hundred percent wrong. Um, and it should not have happened. And I, I think, um, I mean, I think I'm, I, I'm not someone who knows the rule books book super closely, but I think that it's, um, it's inexplicable. And I think the arbiters certainly interfered and they violated the, the laws of, of FIDE. So, uh, I mean, I feel really, really bad for Ali Reza. And let's not take anything away from, say, Anish or, or Jordan, who both played fantastic tournaments and deservedly shared first prize. But that being said, the fact there was money on the line, there were rating points on the line, Ali Reza would have been in the top 10 if he had won the game. Um, I, I don't think it's acceptable in, in any way, shape, or form. Is there any official statement reaction? I don't know. Um, I, re- I really don't know. But, yeah, so it's it's really inexplicable. And I I, I mean... Uh, I, I just like, 
I, I don't even know what to say. It's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's not even about milking the drama. Like, even for even for, for Radoslaw, it's not just about Ali Reza. Think about Radoslaw. Like, he's been defending for six hours. They're both really into the game. Like, this isn't like they asked him 30 minutes into the game. This is, um you know, six hours, six and a half hours into, into the game. And um, and basically they're like you know they 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 they're like oh yeah you got to move so even for Radoslaw it's very it's very distracting because like he's trying his best to defend the position because he's been suffering for so long, and um and so just really inexplicable completely inexplicable um I mean I I, I really feel very very badly for Ali Reza certainly I mean I, I I sent a message to Ali Reza but I didn't get a reply so that that's why I mean I would totally have him on and talk to him if he if he was around but. Um, he's not. I also tried to reach out to chess.com, to Bigfoot, who was the producer of the show. As I said earlier, um, he was told that he could not, he could not appear with me. So, um, yeah, it's not, um, yeah, it's, it's not a good situation at any rate. Uh, but what I would say is, you know, I felt like, I felt like the rules in the case of say the world blitz and rapid, where we had this big drama with Ali Rez and Magnus, the rules were the rules. And even if you don't love them, they, um, they they made they 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 were they were fair they they were it was it was in the FIDE handbook they were the rules and it was it was it was it was what it was um in this case however Ali Reza is one hundred percent in the right though he is a hundred percent in the right here to be mad um I mean I really felt I felt that you know if in a case like this where it's where it's very blatant I think I mean they there should be fine I mean they they should basically I think give him give him additional prize money as though he tied for first place, because I think they were hundred percent in the wrong here. And there should be sort of like financial uh, reparations, I think is the wrong word, but there should be, um, there should be some sort of compensation because I, I think what they did was hundred percent wrong. Um, he still got unprofessional by yelling like that. No, he's not unprofessional. First of all, Ali Reza is 17 years old, 17 years old. Secondly, you know what? I would have yelled too. Like he's been playing for six and a half hours. Like he's so in the game. And then you have an arbiter distracting you and telling you that a you're like, suddenly you're not able to like play a tiebreaker for first prize. And then secondly, like you have to move your table. Like you're six hours in the game. Both players are low on time. It's very stressful. It's very high drama. And, and, and like Ali Reza should be calm. I mean, no, I'm sorry. I mean, you can say he, he can, he can act nicer, but come on. Like it's a very serious game. You're, you're playing to try and tie for first prize. It's a hundred percent understandable and I, I completely agree with that uh and then i would also say if the, if it was magnus who was who was playing this game uh, they would not have told magnus to move his table they they would not have done that magnus gary whomever they would not have done that so um i'm just gonna say that they they should not they're 100 percent tata still is 100 percent in the wrong with or the arbors i should say are 100 percent in the wrong with what with what with what occurred um and I, I think even by the rule book, I, again, like I said, I haven't looked, you know, I don't really memorize the FIDE handbook, but I'm pretty sure that, uh, that if, if FIDE was consulted on this matter, they would, they would, they would say that, yes, the rules were violated by the arbiters for sure. Um, so do I think they would do that to me? I honestly don't know. I, I literally have, I have no idea. Benjamin Box says they did this to me too, bro, in 2018. I know it feels sad, Benjamin. It feels sad, huh? It feels sad when your rating, rating isn't a, you know, a certain, so you don't have a certain rating. Um, <laughs> But, but yeah, and so, and why move the table? Also, I would say again, in this time of COVID, you don't have to move the table. It doesn't have to be in the middle. There's no one actually watching in person. There may be 10 people, 20 journalists, um, but it's not like traditionally where you have hundreds of spectators who, who are watching. So I, I just, I can't really, I can't really agree with it at all. And I think, I mean, I, I think it's, it's a shame. It's, it's really a shame there. There's, there's nothing else to say um in terms of now that being said i do know the arbiters um i obviously have played in tata steel and, and and many of them have been around for a very long time so you know you, you you have to also give some benefit of the doubt which is like kind of you know they made a mistake but it's not like they're they're terrible people they're doing things that way intentionally um they probably were just they probably thought they were trying to do what was right in the situation but at the end of the day um you know it's just it, it's terrible it's just terrible there, there's not much more than i can say um uh, what I would say also moving on is apparently with Gary, Gary, there was, a, there was a tweet that was deleted by, I believe, Mick Greengard, which was like, basically Gary said he was really upset about it. And he, he, um, he, he decided not to comment out of respect for Jordan winning the tournament, which, which I understand, of course, but at the end of the day, I mean, it's just, it's terrible. It, it really is terrible. It's, it's a travesty. Cause again, as a chess player, like, you know, you want to see the games be decided because of the chess. It's always going to be about the chess. Um, and so to have sort of this outside interference, you know, affecting it, uh, it's just, it's terrible. Did I see Geary's response to Magnus? No, I, I didn't look at that, but I think that's kind of making, that's making light of the situation. Most likely it's just a chess game. Yeah. Except there's prize money on the line, world rankings on the line. Um, it's not just a game. So 
So that, that's that's what I would say. Um, also, I have a quote from the FIDE handbook, which says, the arbiter shall act in the best interest of the competition. Um, he should ensure that a good playing environment is maintained, that the players are not deserved, d- disturbed. He shall supervise the progress of the competition. The players are not disturbed. Um, so 100% the players were disturbed. And again, it's not just Ali Reza. It's, 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 it's Rado saw, saw too, because it could have been very easy for him to make a blunder as well there, because then he's out of his rhythm too. Like everyone's out of sync because you're literally focused on the game. Then you told you have to move, and then everyone's like unhappy. And it's like, wait, what's going on? Then there's like a 10-minute delay. It's very, very messy um, at any rate. I think both players, both players deserve better. So let me pull up this. Let's see, what is this? <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is like a three minute video. It's pretty, pretty short, but uh, let's keep going. Oh, I'm supposed to go to six minutes or so? Okay, I'm told I need to go further in the video. Okay, one sec, let me go further. I'm told I need to go to six minutes. Let's go here. Oh, we're gonna get an eval bar here too. Look at this eval bar. <laughs> this music is killing me. Right, and here Ollie Reza blunders with Queen F4, by the way. <laughs> Queen B1 is the move here. Yeah, I do agree with you. Queen B1, eating the pawn on E4 and keeping uh, an option of rook takes B3. Also, also, I love this. Like, I love this. Like, you see, this is how ridiculous it is when you go here. Look at, look at Waitashi. Even he, even he's like, what is this? Like, he's just laughing. He's like, he's like, what, what, what is this nonsense? Like, even, even, even here, you can see Roddy. He's just like, what is this nonsense? Like, like, give me a break. It's like totally. It's like, it's like, what do you, what, like, seriously? What, what are you, what are you talking about? Totally. Yeah. Yeah, literally, that's his look. I, I love his look. That that really that sort of sums up the whole thing is how ridiculous it is that they were asked to move to another table. Middle of the game. And now, if all there is a part that he's not playing in the tiebreak, that is distracting. It feels like terrible. Yes, that's uh, very pity for Andreza. He cannot understand what is going on. He wants to stay on that board. The arbiters are just telling him. Also, also one other thing that I would say here as well is I think I think Ali Reza's clock is running here. I don't think they ever the arbiter is supposed to stop the clock here. I don't think they stopped the clock, did they? Did they stop the clock here or not? This is a, because if they didn't stop the clock, yeah, this is also on the arbiter. This is a big mistake. You're supposed to stop the clock. This is this is a huge mistake by the arbiters here because the clock should be stopped 100%. This is another violation I believe from from the handbook exactly. Which is that, um, you know, the clock should be stopped when you ask them to move to another table. You stop the clock and then, and then you deal with the whole situation. So this is another thing. Ali Reza lost a minute on his clock here as well, at least. Um, let's keep going. Oh my God, what's going on? Uh, I actually don't know if he has to move. That's the thing. Does he have to move? He has to move. Yeah, he has to move. He has to move. And there we see Anish Neary joining the playing pool, who is ready to take on Okay, drama, drama, drama. <laughs> 
I would be furious as well. You know, it's a tough situation for everybody. The playoff needs to be played. We're in the midst of a pandemic situation. But if you're also, this I think sums it up, you guys. So th this kind of sums it up. When you look at this view of the hall, again, we're in pandemic times with COVID, so the tournament is being held. Um, but there are not many. There are not many viewers. There are not many people who are watching. And, or I mean, there are a handful of journalists watching. So why does it have to be in the middle here? They could literally have them play on any board in this empty, vastly empty grand playing hall. Um, so yeah, there, there's seven boards. Like, this is what I'm saying. They're playing on this board. So Anish and Jordan can play down here at this board on the very end. What's the big deal? It's still a little bit, it's still a little bit distracting, mind you, but you can do that. So um, so yeah, the, the whole no, the, this this image, I think, kind of sums it all up, how, how insane the whole thing is. Chess for hours, and you're playing against this another super grandmaster. First place on the line, and now you're being told... Those are the rules. Um, I again, I don't believe that. I don't believe that you're not allowed to disturb the players during a game. So I don't. I don't think so. Um, to put it simply, is what is what is what I would say in in general terms. Um, but yeah. So to me, it's. I mean, I, I think there has to be something that's done for Ali Rezik because I would also argue in general terms. I know this is Tata still is not Fide. But when you look back to Fide and you look at the you look at the candidates tournament, for example. Uh, Timur Rajbov kind of he ended up withdrawing from the event. I would say in in that case, Fidi could very easily um, have said, you know what, sorry, tough luck. But they they actually they they sort of they 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 made amends for what happened by giving Timur a spot in the next candidates tournament. I would argue in this case, this is far more clear. It's very clear what happened in in um in terms of Ali Reza, and it's very clear that the organizers were at fault for for what occurred during this game. So there should be some there should be some form of compensation, is what I would say, a hundred percent. Um, look at this clip. What is this clip? Should I watch this clip? What is this? Oh, is this a clip here? Okay. Um, let me, let me, let me change this. Um, a second. Okay, here we go. Let's watch this. Jeden był taki ruch jak goniec, nie, nie było goniec hatchy, był hetman hatchy. Już zwidy się pojawiają u mnie. Koniec partii. I Firuzza podarł w ogóle zapis partii. No, nieładne zachowanie Firuzzy. Zgodzili się na remis chyba zawodnicy, tak mi się wydaje. And also I would ar argue here you guys if you look at this clip if you go back like right Zachowanie here. Firuzzy. Zgodzili się. Yeah, you see like you see also you see Rodek's face here like you can tell that Rodek is not happy about it either. You, you can also tell that that Rodek is really unhappy here. You can tell it's like mm. you know, he's not ha I mean no one is happy with what happened here. No no one is. Um uh, but at the start, did Ali Reza rip the sheet of paper? Let me keep going. Jeden był taki ruch jak goniec... Nie, nie było goniec Hatcha, był Hetman Hatcha. Już zwidy się pojawiają u mnie. Koniec partii. I Firuzza podarł w ogóle zapis partii. No, nieładne zachowanie Firuzzy. Zgodzili się na remis chyba zawodnicy, tak mi się wydaje. Tak, zgodzili się na remis zawodnicy w tej pozycji i Firuzza no, yeah. podarł... Podarł zapis partii, co jest bardzo nieładnym yeah, zachowaniem. I mean, I, I Cały czas I mean, może I sobie it. Irańczyk poradzić z tymi emocjami i tym samym turniej również zakończył się dla naszego drugiego reprezentanta. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a brutal clip, I mean, for sure. Um, but yeah, he was very upset, obviously. And, and you know, I, I get it. I mean, I totally get it. I, I completely understand why... Um, why Ali Reza was so upset about it. Yeah, he just t tore the sheet up in half. I mean, I've never done that. I will say I have actually, though, taken score sheets, crumpled them up and thrown them in the garbage literally as soon as the game's over. So I totally understand the sentiment there. Um, and again, they, they they messed it up. Now, would he have, would he have won the game? Not necessarily. Uh, was he winning the position? Yes. But the fact that there was interference and it was not purely about the chess is why it's just not, it's just not acceptable. At any rate... Um, so yeah, so I mean, I, I, I feel, I feel, I feel very bad for Ali Reza because he deserved better. And my general attitude is that there should should be some like they should basically, I, I think, compensate him for that and admit that they're admit their mistake because they 100 percent what they did was wrong, 100 percent. He went overboard, of course he did. But again, think about Ali Reza. He's 17 years old. He's playing in a tournament. He thinks he was playing for first prize, trying to win the whole event, and then he gets disturbed by the arbiters. They tell him that a he can't win the tournament. And then B, it's like you have to move to another table. So basically, the arbiters definitely interfered. And it's like that cost, it costs him money, it costs him rating points, it costs him a shot at time for first place. So regardless of, you, you can say that he should have had better etiquette, he should have handled it better. But I mean, 100% it's wrong. 100%. They, they, were all, they were always there for over, they were already playing for over six hours. I mean, it's just not, um, 
Yeah, I just, I, I, it's, it's inexplicable. Okay, so this is a whole statement. Okay, Todd Hill Chess 2021 tournament. The organization of the Todd Hill Chess tournament always treats the grandmasters with the utmost respect. Therefore, we deeply regret the unrest around the situation preceding the tiebreak. The players have been briefed about the rules and starting time of a possible tiebreak. Uh, okay, so when they say the players have been briefed about the rules and starting time, I think there should be some clarification here. Does this mean that it was in the regulations, or that the players have been given like a notice or something before? the final round. I think that's the first thing that I think needs to, um, that, that needs to be clarified as far as this goes. Cause like if, if they, if, if it's in the regulations, I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to be, be rude here, but with regulations, most players do not read the whole thing. Um, that's the first thing that I would say. Um, so I, I don't know if that's true or not. I mean, of course, Ali Reza could confirm it or, or basically deny it. Um, out of respect for Ferruccio and, and Wojtacek, the Arbiter did not approach them until after the 60th move to ask them if they preferred to continue their game at a table further down the road. The decision was completely up to the players. The situation unintentionally disturbed Ferruccio, and we deeply regret this. In a personal conversation with both players, the tournament director has clarified matters and has offered his apologies. We will take the implementation of a tiebreak into careful consideration to prevent a situation like this from, re from reoccurring in the future. All right, um... So what what I would say in 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 general terms um, is that yeah overall I mean nothing wrong with this I think this thing where they say players have been briefed about rules and starting time a possible tie break again it seems you know but actually now that I think about this there there is one thing that I would say in in re regards to Tata Steel which is that no but actually that's not how it works because even if Ali Reza thought he could win and get into a tiebreaker the arbiters still they should still not inform the players like of course there's a chance Jordan loses game and misses out Ali Reza wins and gets in. Um, but I think, I think actually they're still wrong. Even, even if, um, even if, uh, even if you say like there, there's a sheet of paper that says how it occurs, you still, there should be no interaction. So I, I don't know. I don't know. It's like, I don't know. I mean, I understand the point. There's nothing wrong with it, but I, I, I still, I, this seems vague to me that the sense about the rules and starting times, I mean, there was a sheet of paper. Was there like, was there something, I mean, like, who knows what they mean by that? So that, that seems a little bit sketchy, but overall, um, yeah, completely reasonable. I don't think it will happen again either, to be clear. Um, I don't think it's going to happen again.